So today I'm going to be sharing my top five favorite L'Oreal makeup products for mature skin. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm over 50 years old and I love testing out makeup and skincare products. Everything from drugstore to high end and everything in between. And today it's all about my favorite L'Oreal makeup products for over 50 for mature skin like you, like me. Is that why you're here? That's why I'm here. But yeah, I thought it would be fun to collect my five top favorite makeup products from each brand. And I wanted to start out with L'Oreal because we all know L'Oreal is like everywhere. It's very accessible. It's somewhat affordable. I mean, it's kind of up there in terms of drugstore prices, but they have been churning out some fantastic products, but they also have some really good OG products that have stood the test of time that are really, really good. So don't have that fear of missing out. I know they have a lot of products that are coming out, but I did go back and revisit some of their foundations and found that they were really, really good. And of course, L'Oreal is very well known for their complexion products. They have 11 types of foundation and there's bound to be one perfect for us. And I'm sorry, I picked out four. Does that count? But anyway, the foundation that I'm actually wearing today is so iconic and it actually came out about four or five years ago. It is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. Do you guys remember when this came out? Oh my goodness. I remember everyone was trying to get their hands on it because it just provides beautiful 24 hour coverage. Of course, I would never wear my makeup for more than 24 hours. It offers beautiful medium to full coverage and you really don't need to use a lot. The consistency is quite runny, but it's so easy to blend into your skin. Now, if you're new here to my channel, I do have normal to dry skin and it gets especially dry during the winter months. So I, I do like to prep my skin with my regular skincare sunscreen and an extra primer on top. And the primer that I normally use for a foundation like this is going to be more hydrating. So I used a nice hydrating, moisturizing, glowy primer underneath. Let me know what your favorite L'Oreal primer is because today I used this fantastic primer from Milani. It is the Glow Radiance Drops. Fantastic, fantastic primer for mature skin. It leaves it nice and glowy, nice and hydrated. But yeah, I was so pleasantly surprised on how beautiful this foundation looked so skin-like on my complexion. It really smooths out my skin. It's not too heavy. It provides beautiful coverage and it still lets my skin peek through. It plays well with cream products. It plays well with powdered products. And like I said, this is an OG. And I always see this foundation in the drugstore, but it's always overlooked because I guess it had its moment, but oh my goodness, if you have slept on this and you haven't tried it, I absolutely recommend the Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. And I'm in the shade 425. I find that the shade really works well on my complexion. And yeah, I mean, I know L'Oreal comes out with so many different foundations. Like I said, this is an OG. This is really, really good. If you're looking for something with a little more coverage that's gonna last all day and look super skin-like, I highly recommend the infallible 24-hour fresh wear foundation. So if you're not into medium, full coverage foundation, I get it. And there are days where I just wanna put on a little bit of something on, on my complexion to even it out, to make it look smooth, to just look like that no makeup makeup look, this is the foundation for you. It, it is their Age Perfect 4-in-1 Tinted Balm. This got a lot of attention. This is such a fantastic 4-in-1 product. You can use it as a primer. You can use it as a foundation. It is actually a balm, and it's actually super silky and soft. This is for those days that you don't want a lot of makeup on. You just want to even out your complexion. You want to smooth it out. But for some reason, this just lays so beautifully on the skin. And let me tell you, it really hydrates your complexion, smooths it out, makes my skin tone super even, less texture. This is probably the one that I reach for when I just want my skin tone to be even, to make it look smooth, but not look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. Like I said, for those no makeup makeup days, I highly recommend the Age Perfect 4-in-1 Tinted Balm. I'm in the shade 20 Pale. Sometimes it can run a little pale, but you can always throw on a little bronzer, a little blush, and it'll just look so seamless on your skin. This is so such a smoothing foundation and it's, absolutely gorgeous on mature skin. 
Another foundation, I know, that, don't worry, I, I'm getting to mascara and lips as well, but another fantastic L'Oreal foundation, if you're looking for something that's more of a serum type foundation, but also has an SPF, the Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation is absolutely gorgeous on mature skin. Now it has an SPF of 50, and it just lays beautifully on the skin. It is light to medium coverage, and it has a runnier consistency. This offers a little bit more coverage on your complexion with the added bonus of SPF. If you have normal to dry skin like I do, you're gonna love this foundation because it's really hydrating. It doesn't settle into fine lines. It just looks so glowy on your complexion. So if you want something with an SPF of 50, you wanna quickly throw something on that's gonna blend on your skin and just look fantastic and hydrating and glowy at the same time, absolutely love the Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. If you have an oilier, if you have an oilier complexion, you may want to steer clear of this because it is a tad, uh, I don't want to say greasy, but it is very hydrating and it could tend to look a little more dewy on an oily, oilier complexion. But yeah, this is absolutely stunning if you have normal to dry skin like I do. Now I can't leave out the L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. Now this does contain 1% pure hyaluronic acid and it's the one where I wish they would Mm, the medicine dropper. I would wear this more often if, if it had a better applicator. I mean, look at it. It is so dirty. I wore this yesterday and it was absolutely stunning on the skin. Now it does have sort of like a glowy sheen to it. So if you're not into that, steer clear of it. But it just lays so beautifully on the skin. It provides light to medium coverage. It does give your skin a nice glowy complexion. And if you have normal to dry skin, you will appreciate the hyaluronic acid. But be forewarned, this type of foundation, this particular foundation does tend to run a little dark. Like I'm in the shade 2-3. It looks fine in the bottle, but when you apply it, this is my perfect summer shade. When I get a little bit of sun, totally messy. I know I say this every time I talk about this particular foundation, but this is gorgeous on the skin. Like I said, this tends to run a little deeper in shades, but it is so pretty on the skin. It just lays beautifully. It's very hydrating at the same time. It's not as hydrating as the serum foundation. It actually is a little bit thicker in consistency, but this is so pretty on the skin. It does have a lot of glow to it, but it's so comfortable, lightweight on the complexion. It does offer nice light to medium coverage. It is buildable, but be careful when you're hunting for your shade. These tend to run a little deeper in shade. You may not think that in the bottle. You'll be like, oh yeah, this is my shade. And then it'll be just a tad too dark. So if you wanna try this foundation, go a shade up. Oh, this poor bottle is so dirty. And I do have to give runner up in terms of foundation to the brand new L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. I like this foundation. It does not like me. It looks so pretty on the skin. And I actually did a full review of it all day wear test and I'll put it down in the links below so you if you're interested you can check it out there this looks so pretty on the skin I've been wearing this testing it out with different primers with different moisturizers but for some reason at the end of the day maybe it's just in my head it just it makes my face itchy maybe I'm allergic to it but I love how it looks initially on my complexion it still looks good it still looks good at the end of the day but for some reason it feels tighter on my skin, on my complexion. And that's just at the end of the day. At first it looks fantastic, but yeah, I do like this foundation. Do I like it as much as the other ones? This is gonna be coming, this is actually a runner up. So maybe it's just my complexion, I don't know. But for some reason, at the end of the day, it just makes my skin feel tight. Leave me a comment down below if you've tried this yet and what are your results with this foundation? Because I really like it. I wish my face liked it though. Mm. Let's talk about eyeliner. My go-to eyeliner forever was the L'Oreal La Liner Signature Mechanical Pencil. It comes various colors. My favorite has been brown denim, but I noticed over the last several weeks, the last couple of months, I could not find it in Target, Walmart, Ulta, so I started kind of freaking out. But then, I mean, cause this is good. This is really good. It, no, no budge, no smudge. I actually saw like an ad on YouTube and it was for their infallible gel grip eyeliner. This is fantastic. I 
think I like it more than the La Liner Signature Mechanical Pencil because it's so, it's creamy and it's so easy to line your eyes, to tight line your waterline. So comfortable, so creamy, but at the same time, it doesn't budge, smudge, or transfer. It's perfect for tight lining your upper waterline. It's perfect for just giving your the outer corners of your eye a little more definition. And then it comes with a convenient smudger where you can smudge the eyeliner. It's weird because it's creamy and yet you can smoke it out, but then it doesn't move. It doesn't budge. It doesn't smudge. It has like the perfect creamy consistency when you first apply it. But then for some reason, it just stays all day. And this is so affordable too. I think I found this at Target for $8.99 and it comes in a plethora of fun shades. I think it comes in like greens and blues, but brown denim, baby, this is my color. Absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. Now let's talk mascara. I was a huge fan of the Lash Paradise mascara from L'Oreal, but I found that it dried out rather quickly after using it after a couple of weeks. This one has been going viral for very good reason. It is their brand new telescopic lift mascara. I have to say, this is a really good formula. It's quite liquidy. It's quite of a runnier formula. And if you can get past the learning curve of the unusual, and I mean unusual mascara wand, your eyelashes will definitely be lifted. They will be curled. I do have skimpy eyelashes, but for some reason, this unique wand tip applicator will go through each lash once you wiggle it from root to tip, and then you flip it over and use a little hook comb to pull them up. For some reason, they lengthen, they hold up. I mean, they really do lift your lashes. I didn't believe it at first, but this is actually a very good mascara. Now, if you're more of the traditional type, you love that traditional wand tip applicator, definitely Lash Paradise is wonderful. But like I said, for some reason, it dries out after a couple of weeks. This one has been going strong for sure actually love it. And I found in my experience only using one coat is plenty because when I put a second coat of it on there, I find that my lashes get super brittle and kind of clumpy. So one coat of the telescopic lift mascara is all you need for really long lashes. I mean, it's amazing. It's worth the hype. It really truly is. So if you're looking for an affordable mascara that's really going to lift your lashes without even curling them, I didn't even curl my lashes. Definitely check out the Telescopic Lift Mascara from L'Oreal. Look at my lashes. Isn't that insane? My final favorite product from L'Oreal, and I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, is their Glow Paradise Balm in Lipstick. Now, I think this came out like a year, a year and a half ago. They're so good, oh my gosh. I have like three shades, and I looked on the Ulta website. They're actually on sale right now for $8.49. My go-to shade is Mulberry Bliss. It is just the perfect cool tone rose color. It kind of looks like my natural lip color, but it has a little bit more punch and it just looks so beautiful and so comfortable on the lips. It does contain pomegranate seed oil for hydration. It's super glossy, it's super hydrating. It literally feels like a balm, but it has such great pigment. Now, the shade that I'm wearing today is Ecstatic Mulberry. Definitely a little punchy, but it is so smooth on the lips. You guys, if you're not into like your traditional matte lipstick or even a cream lipstick and you want something that's hydrating, that makes your lips look smooth, that you want a punch of color, these are fantastic and they're so affordable. Like I don't understand why not a lot of people are talking about it. They do come in really beautiful shades. Like I said, this is Ecstatic Mulberry. This is my go-to shade, Mulberry Bliss. It's gorgeous. Now this one is Rose Mirage. It's almost like a nude rose very sheer. This is a type of balm that you can literally, except for this shade, where you literally can put it on and you don't need a mirror. Highly recommend these Glow Paradise Balm and Lipsticks from L'Oreal. I cannot recommend them enough. Today I was feeling a little punchy. I wanted to wear Ecstatic Mulberry just to show you how pigmented they can be, but also how subtle, glowy, and juicy they look on the lips, but yeah. Now they do have somewhat of a scent it's somewhat floral, but it does dissipate after a while. I just I just wanted to forewarn you in case you have some sort of aversion to flowery scents. It does have a kind of a flowery scent, ah, but it goes away. Why do they have to do that? 
But in terms of longevity, is it gonna last all day? Absolutely not. This is like a glossy lip balm. It's gonna be there as long as you don't drink anything or don't eat anything, but it does gracefully wear off. That's, I can say that. I actually wore it to our Valentine's dinner the other night. <laughs> we celebrate Valentine's Day the day after Valentine's Day, if that makes sense. We don't like crowds, but ironically, it was kind of crowded that night on Wednesday. And I wore the Mulberry Bliss, and by the end of the meal, it wasn't there because I, because I ate a lot, but you can still feel the glossiness on it and it was super easy just to reapply. But I had a really good Valentine's Day dinner. It was nice to get out for once. I, sometimes I feel cooped up in the house because I do work from home and we did adopt a new puppy. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure if you saw it on my community page. We adopted a German Shepherd from a nonprofit organization called Pawn of Prayer. He has been such a blessing. He is the biggest goof and he's only six months old. And we finally decided on a name. His name, it wasn't Pete, it's not Maverick because we love the movie Top Gun. We actually named him Hondo. I know, Hondo was actually the sidekick of Pete Mitchell in Top Gun Maverick. Uh, we just absolutely loved his character, um, especially where he goes, I don't like that look, Maverick. And then Tom Cruise would say, it's the only look I got. But we, we love that movie and it's just so much fun. And Hondo seems to be the perfect name for him. It's hard to believe he's a puppy. It's like, here we go again, raising a puppy. Is he getting along with Norm, Tabby Tutu and Roxy? Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> So those are my top five. Was that five? Yeah. Well, you know, the foundations thing. But yeah, those were my top five favorite L'Oreal makeup products for mature skin. I know there's so many other L'Oreal makeup products that I didn't even scratch the surface with, but these are my standouts. These products work for my mature skin. And I just wanted to share that information with you. But please let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite go-to L'Oreal makeup product? please share with us in the comments section below. I love when we all discuss and help each other out, but yeah. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. And in case you wanna hang out a little bit longer and check out some more foundation reviews, check out the playlist down here. And for skincare reviews, check out the playlist right over there. But for now, mwah. mahal kita, I love you. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.